Hello Rams fans, once again, I came across this ramblingfan.com article and I thought it pretty much summed it up, what happened this past game that we just had. Big upset against Arizona. We knew they were good, but our record against Arizona Cardinals was, was almost perfect. So I came across this article, let's get right into it. The title is, Can the LA Rams Make Effective Halftime Adjustments in Week 5? This got my attention um, because I was thinking the entire time, the, the entire game, like, okay, now Sean McVay is going to go into the locker room and totally change things around. He's going to figure out what he's analyzing everything. He's going to figure out what's wrong. And they're going to come out completely, a completely new team. Now, wrong, didn't happen. For some reason, I was thinking, wow, they always, they always come out after halftime adjusted, well adjusted, and it just hasn't happened. But anyways, let's get into the article. Um, so the title is, Can the Rams Make Effective Halftime Adjustments in Week 5? Shell-shocked or just cold calculating. What is the read on the mindset of the LA Rams right now? If you can tell me, let me know, because I just can't get a read on this team. After the week four embarrassment, they seem to be just fine. Almost as though that stomping was a figment of my imagination. Their reactions feel a bit like denial. Almost as though the coaches and players have convinced themselves after the chaos of week four that they were just one key play away from victory. From the vantage point of my television screen, no, that's not what happened. Another highlight, unprepared. So this reminds me of what I was saying earlier after on my post uh, game uh, video about uh, the Rams being too big headed, uh, being overconfident. We had uh, three big wins uh, against two tough teams. Chicago not being one of the tougher teams out of uh, Indianapolis Colts and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, you win those teams in the way we did with the new quarterback. I, I would probably feel pretty confident myself. So I can imagine um, and then playing at home and just everything going right and just coming so easy, it seemed like. We could just pass and run any play and all the media hype and, uh, well, hopefully this uh, Arizona game and loss uh, was a good re reality check and um, put us back into, uh, into a mindset that all teams are somebody to be well prepared for. Back to the article, unprepared. What I saw was an offense that coughed up the ball twice in their first four possessions. Yes, they did. One was a fumble by Sony Michelle. That fumble, God. Being a veteran, I, I didn't think he was gonna fumble like that. I, I, I didn't hear anything about him being a fumbler. I don't know, maybe it was just a, a fluke fumble but that, that cost because uh, Arizona scored on that uh, turnover. And the other turnover was the deep bomb, the pass to Deshaun Jackson, our secret weapon <laughs> for the deep ball. <laughs> Matthew Stafford needs to get his timing down I think instead of him dropping back seven yards, he needs to drop back about a quick five yards and then release that long pass because, uh, and lead him. Make sure to lead Deshaun Jackson. He'll catch up to it is what I'm thinking. So, um, let's see. And the article goes on to say, and with both turnovers, the defense gave up touchdowns, 14 points. 
gifted away to a divisional rival. Take that away. And the Rams could have been in the lead by a score of 10 to 7 or at worst give up a pair of field goals and be trailing by a score of 13 to 10. I don't like to blame a player. Rather, I encourage fixing the process. In fact, that is exactly what we wrote about immediately following the loss. But the Rams struggled to stop the pass in two consecutive games now. Well, it's not Jalen Ramsey. Um, he's breaking up passes. He's, he's, his numbers are good. So, another highlight. Where are those halftime adjustments in 2020? The one thing that stood out about the Rams defense was the miraculous ways that that team was able to go into the locker room at halftime and emerge as a completely different defense. There is your bogey. There is the trouble. The LA Rams are not adjusting whatsoever to what offenses are doing to them. They're not adjusting. What happened? You used to go into the locker room at halftime, come out and just be a total better defense because of adjustments. What's going on? I thought for sure they were gonna make adjustments and come out stronger. Well, we just seen a lot of the same thing. Uh, do we need to move J Jalen Ramsey around someplace else, put him back in his position or something? Uh, Rams are not adjusting whatsoever to what offenses are doing to them. It's already cost them one game. It will likely cost them more. This may be the same basic scheme. It may be a defense that has many of the same rotating coverage concepts, but we know that offensive coordinators were able to decipher the cryptic disguises and score points on the Rams in the first half. But after halftime, the Rams encrypted the defense and offenses were left in confusion. That is not happening this year. Right now, I am not even certain that the Rams are failing miserably at that one area where they excelled a year ago. Halftime adjustments, period. It's both an exercise in humility. They are beating us here and there, as well as an opportunity to shine. We can do this and do that to stop them. It's one of the key missing ingredients from the 2021 NFL defense the number one defense in 2020 was the Los Angeles Rams. That was us. We still have that capability, but we need to make those adjustments. The disappointing part of all of that, that one is on the coaches, folks. 